Let's take a look at Made History, presented by State Farm. And Caitlin Clark did indeed make history. Program high 49 points to move past Kelsey Plum's Division I scoring record. She now is fewer than 100 points away from Pistol Pete Maravich for the most points scored in men's or women's college basketball. I am, I am unwilling, and maybe it's more the, the Kobe mentorship around me, to say that she is great yet. I think she is the most prolific scorer the game has ever seen. I hold great or the levels of immortality or the pantheon to when you win championships. I'm just, be, that's just me. So Diane Taurasi, when you win three consecutive championships, two-time national player of the year, it has, to it has to culminate with the chip. It has to. I mean, Brianna Stewart, if we're talking about GOAT legends of the game, she's won four chips. Four chips, multiple national players of the year. So I'm not saying that she's not at a high, high, high level. But for it to go to the states of immortality, in my opinion, it has to culminate with your team winning a championship. What's up, guys? Joe Pilak. All right, real quick, Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is the most skilled women's basketball player that we have ever seen, that the world has ever seen. Let's just go back to college. 28 points per game um, for her career, which is which equal out to the most points ever for the women's game and for men's. She broke Pete Maravich's uh, scoring record all time. He only played three years and didn't have a three-point line, but... She still broke that record, and that record will probably never be broken, to be honest, um, unless there's another player that comes along that you know has the freedom and the skills that Caitlin Clark did. Uh, but anyway, back to Caitlin Clark's greatness. Uh, yeah, she also uh, holds the uh, men's and women's single season record for most three pointers made in a season. She made 164 three pointers in one season. Steph Curry made 162. She also holds the career record for most three pointers made. Uh, for the women's game, not men's and women's, but for women's. Back-to-back uh, -back, uh, championship appearances didn't win. However, that doesn't take away from how skilled she is. Uh, I didn't say that she was on the greatest college team of all time. Um, she's the most skilled player we've ever seen. Uh, look at her game. I mean, it's just it, it's exciting to watch. She comes down the court, hits 30-foot three-pointers, goes behind the back, comes off a ball screen, hits step-back three-pointers, with people right in her face. It's, an, it's entertaining, it's fun to watch, and it's just, if you're a fan of basketball, and it's like Steph Curry, it's, it's much watched TV at times. We've really never seen anything like it as far as the women game, women's game goes. There's been other players that have you know scored points, won championships in college, made to the pros, and won multiple championships. And they might have better resumes than Caitlin Clark right now. However, if you watch them play, I mean, they've been on those teams for many years and Caitlin Clark just arrived arrived in the WNBA so um, her teammates aren't fully accustomed to how she plays um, so sh you know she'll get um, to a higher level as far as the WNBA goes as time goes on she's just a rookie uh, she's averaging 16 points per game right now which isn't bad um, it's not 16 in the NBA because they don't score as many points in the WNBA as they do in the NBA so that would equal out to about 20 or 22 points per game in the NBA, which isn't bad for a rookie. Um, anyway, that skill level that she has, it, it's going to take her uh, to become the greatest women's basketball player ever. I understand that you can't really give her that title at this point, obviously, because there's no championships uh, that have been won in college or, or the pro level. Uh, but she will get there uh, with time. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Because of Caitlin Clark, don't get it twisted. Don't get it fucked up. Caitlin Clark is the reason why a lot of great things is going to happen for the WNBA. People need to realize the Indiana Fever, this is the second year in a row they had the number one pick. So do y'all know what that mean? That means they're not that good. They had back-to-back -back years as the number one why, pick. Why are you a hater on the fever, man? No, I, I, am a, I am a realist. Like, because not, not only, like, I get, like, people are just, like, crazy about why she should be doing this and they should be doing that. If she's so great, this team, like, it's still a team game, people.